Today I'm going to be showing you and walking you guys through the steps to create your very first Zone Wars map as a beginner. Let's get right into it. And yes guys, before the video starts, this video is going to be made in creative for beginners to understand the fundamentals of UEFN and creative. Alright guys, so once you guys are actually loaded in, you're going to see stuff like this on your screen. This is exactly what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to use the console and create a new console and find the tropical island. It is right here. Please grab the tropical island. You guys can name the island whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Zone Wars 1. I'm just going to call it Zone Wars 1. You guys can confirm and now it'll summon the portal for the tropical island that you just named as whatever you want it to be. Now we're in here. We're just going to head inside Zone Wars 1. Okay, so once you guys are actually loaded in, what I want you guys to do is pull out your phone and delete all of the tropical resorts and islands and, and trees here. So we don't actually need any of these. We don't want these to block the players when they are trying to build inside of their Zone Wars map and, you know, fight their enemies. So we're just going to delete every single thing here. All right, so once everything is deleted, you guys can pick either side of where you want to start the Zone Wars. I'm going to start it on the right side all the way over here. And this is what I want you guys to do. So we have this nice surface area here. I want you guys to follow these instructions. So now what I want you guys to do is go into the island and grab some galleries. I'm going to be using the indestructible gallery. We're going to open that up and grab the floors and walls. These are the two that I'm going to be using, guys. You guys can use whatever gallery you want, but these are just what I prefer you guys use. Simplistic, and it's just simple to follow along with the tutorial. All right, so now once you guys have grabbed your floors and your walls, just as I have, what I want you guys to do is place your floors 10 in a row, all right? So one, two, three, four. This is where people are actually going to spawn in and like battle each other. This is the, this is the uh, player spawner area, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like this. Now we have 10. Now what I want you guys to do is copy and paste all of the selected 10 rows that you have here and copy and paste it right in front of each other. So what you guys have to do is you guys have to pull out your phone and press R and it will select every single row in here. And all I want you guys to do is just copy and paste another row here. Put it right in front. And if it doesn't copy, guys, you guys, don't worry, you can just place another 10. So at the end, it should look something like this. So now what I want you guys to do is cover the floors and the walls. So this is what I want you guys to do. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go five high, one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to copy this all across the entire thing. But inside of the middle, you're going to have it like that. I'm just going to show you guys what to do. So in the middle, you're going to have it like this so you have eight things in the middle you want to go five high right one two three four five just like as so like this because this is just where the people are going to be spawning then you want to create a checkered pattern for the player so they're not just spawning right beside each other and they can just tackle each other i'll show you what it will look like when i'm done all right guys so this is exactly what it should look like when you guys are done don't worry about like the uh the floor sticking out here they're not going to be seeing that inside of the game do not worry but this is how it should look when you guys are actually done all right so this is where the fun happens now what i want you guys to do is create the layers to where people are going to spawn it okay so this is what i want you guys to do you guys want to have one like this so one one so you guys want to have two here this is just the first layer where the person's gonna spawn in you want to go one two one two one two one two just like this all the way until the end guys it should look exactly like this when you guys are done but now what you guys want to do is copy and paste all of these layers here and have it go up by five so this is what i want you guys to do so you guys can either copy them or place them i'm just going to place them so you guys can follow along strictly with the tutorial okay so this is what i want you guys to do so you just want to fly up here and place all of the walls just like so, like this. On each side, all the way up to five. This is exactly how it should look when you guys are done. Now we're going to place the floors down for this nice checkered pattern where all the players are going to spawn. Now what I want you guys to do is place the floors down. It's going to get a little confusing here, so I'm going to show you guys a visual at the end that you guys can follow along with. But you guys want to have a checkered pattern, so this is exactly how you're going to do it. Okay, so skip this side. Just have it so like this. You just want your floors here where people are going to spawn in. See how we're making this nice checkered pattern formation? Okay, guys, so when you guys are actually done, I know it looks like a lot on your screen, but this is exactly how it should actually look. I'm going to pan around here and show you guys what it should look like when you guys are actually complete here so it's just a checkered pattern so people aren't separated and they're not just spawning on each other and just dogging on each other and killing each other but it should look like a checkered pattern i know i'm on performance mode but like i'm gonna show you guys the squares here so it goes up and down up and down up and down this is how it should look when you guys are done the stage for the zone wars game now what i want you guys to do is grab a player spawner from the devices tab this is how you're exactly going to do this you guys just want to go back out here search of devices grab a player spawner it is right here grab a player spawner and grab a barrier device all right grab the barrier device and do as so now what i want you guys to do is place down the player spawners like so just like this and go into the settings here and have and have visible in-game to off. Once you have done that, now what I want you guys to do is grab the barrier device and have it half in the grass and half not in the grass. So just like this. And these are the settings that I want you guys to copy. Enable on phase. You want to have it on always, obviously. So have it on always and have the barrier dip at 0.01. So you guys can just type out 0.01. This is what I want you guys to do. Now, once you're done, it should look exactly like this. Now what I want you guys to do is copy and paste the barriers and the player spawners like this. All right. So you just want to put like so. So you just want to copy and paste it at the start of every round like this. So, so far, it should look something like this. And you just want to fill in the remaining squares with the barriers and the player spawners. Now what I want you guys to do is pull out your phone and go into devices and pull out the timer device. All right, so this is what you guys want to do. You guys just want to search up timer. You can put it actually wherever you want, but just place it wherever you want. I'm just going to place mine right at the top here, just like this. I'm going to have mine here just right at the top. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to have it closer to me though. I'm going to have mine just right here. And this is what I want you guys to do. So go into the settings, have the duration on five seconds because we don't want people to spawn in so fastly. On can interact, we want to have that on no. And, and of course we want to have it on start game. And with the completion behavior, we want to have it on reset. And we want to have the 
display time in seconds only. And the timing running text, you guys just want to type in barriers, barriers, drop in. This is what you guys want to do. And the timer label textile, you want it to have, you want it to be extra large. Now what I want you guys to do is go back in the timer device. Once this is all said and done, here are the settings that you guys want to copy and paste. But I want you guys to go into functions and go on success, select device, barrier device, and have it on disable. You guys want to do this for every single barrier device that you actually have. So please do so, or nothing is going to work. So barrier device 11, disable. You, want, you guys want to disable every barrier device that you guys actually have in stock, okay? This is the most lengthy process of this entire thing. Now, once they're all disabled, it should look something like this, guys. I want you guys to hit OK. Make sure it actually saved. Make sure all of the functions are actually saved. All of the devices, all of the barriers are disabled. Now that you're done, follow this. The next thing I want you guys to do is place down the inventory and team setting device. Please place that down. You guys can place it wherever you want. I'm going to place mine right in the air. Pretty much what this is, it's the weapons and the settings that you guys are going to have when you spawn in. So you don't have to actually grab the item granter. So what I want you guys to do is, is put in these weapons as so, okay? These are the weapons that I want you guys to copy in here. This is what we want. We want the gold pump, the blue AR, blue submachine gun. You want 500 wood, 500 brick, and 500 metal, 200 light bullets, 30 shotgun shells, 200 AR, three minis, and one slurp fish. I'm going to have two in mind though. Now what I want you guys to do is drop all of this into the team settings inventory device. All right, so just drop it inside of the team setting inventory device. This is what it looks like when it is actually all said and done. This is the most important step, guys. I want you guys to correct these island settings. These are the island settings that you guys want to copy, okay? So max players, we want to have that on 16. We want to have voice chat on all. We want to have the teams to obviously 16 since we have the max players of 16. Team size, we want to have that on one. Total rounds, 100. We want to have the spawn limit on one. After last spawn, go to spectate time limit you want to have that on none you guys want to have the game win condition on most rounds one you guys want to have the join in progress setting on spawn on next round you guys can just search it up right here you guys want to have the game start countdown on off you guys want to have the time of day to 3 p.m you guys want to have the starting health percentage at 100 and you guys want to have the starting shield percentage at 100 as well so have that on 100 and also guys you guys want to have fall damage on on you guys want to have building can destroy environment off and for the last thing guys have environmental damage on player built only and go ahead and start your game and test it out now we're going to build the storm now what i want you guys to do is go two tiles to the side and place a barrier this is so people can't just like walk out of the map and just screw off so you're just going to place a barrier under the map just like so like this now inside of the barrier settings and this is what i want you guys to do so have the barrier depth on 100 have the barrier height on 50 then copy this process on the other side of the map and now for the last barrier you want to place it right at the end where the storm finally closes so you'd want to have it right here right in the middle now what i want you guys to do is place one more right at the top you want to place it to the very top of your previous barrier and then you want to go into the settings but now with this one you want to have the width at 100 and you want to have the height at one so it should look something like this once you actually start the game this is exactly how it should look like so as you can see here here we have the barriers it looks all fancy and all nice all spectacular and this is what it looks like as you pivot down we have just this nice clean zone wars game but now it's time to make the final thing the storm so what i want you guys to do is pull out your phone go into devices and grab the advanced storm beacon and grab the advanced storm controller so now what i want you guys to do is grab the advanced storm beacon and have it right in the middle of the player spawners just like so then i want you guys to do is head in into the settings so go into the settings have the phase on one have the storm radius on 50 meters damage level 5%. Then place the storm controller right on top of it and head on into the setting. Generate on game start? No. Use custom storm phases? Yes. Phase 1 radius? 50 meters. Delay time? 15 seconds. Then in functions, generate storm when receiving from timer device. Have it on success. Then copy the storm beacon and move it further along the map. I'm gonna have mine right at the end of the next of when the zone closed. So now once you're inside, have the phase onto phase 2. Storm radius? 40 meters. And make sure to have the wait time on 2 seconds. Damage level? 7%. Now once you're all good to go, copy it again and have it more closer to the hill right here then once it's all good have this on phase three have this on how many meters you actually want have the wait time on two seconds have the damage level at 10 percent then you're going to copy it again have it onto phase four have the storm radius onto 20 wait time can be two seconds damage 15 percent and copy it one more time right over here you can have this is where the final circle is going to be have it right here have this phase five storm radius to zero meters have the damage level of 20 percent now you are pretty much done guys as you start the game here you're going to see it fully functional and working so as you can see, I'm going to spawn in. The barriers are nice in here. Now we just wait five seconds. We're on full shield. Wait for the barriers to spawn in. And now we wait 13 seconds at the top here for the storm to actually come in. Come in. So we're going to wait 10 seconds. I'm going to show you that all of this is actually fully functional. All right. Now the storm is going to come in. Now it is actually going to move as so. It's going to take 30 seconds to move in. But as you guys can see, the storm is moving. It's fully functional and it's actually working. And now you guys are done. You guys are fully done the Zone Wars game as a beginner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments of some suggestions of games you want to see me make. I love you guys all, man. Click the link in the Discord and connect with like minded people. People all trying to motivate and inspire each other businesses and sponsorships you can reach out to my social medias down below or with my business email davybusiness at gmail.com i'd love to connect with you i'd love to reach out with you make sure to click my last two videos on the screen because honestly guys they're bangers man 
Click one of the click one or the other man. I'm just I might just put up one on the screen because that is truthfully probably the most important video that you're ever gonna see on my channel so far to this date. And um I seriously love you guys all, man. I can't thank you guys enough for giving me a platform to motivate and inspire others and also help people in the process while documenting my own struggles and vulnerability. I love you guys all, man. Have an amazing day. I'm out. Peace.